This is for the upside down drawings that I'm going to demo. So in Canvas, remember, we have the upside down drawings and there are a total of five. So remember the easy ones are the animals, the horse, and the elephant. The medium ones are these two. And then the more difficult one is Yoda because clearly he has more lines, right? And there's more of a variety of, of things going on with uh, the body. Again, these are upside down so that your brain does not mess with your drawing and doesn't tell you, oh, it's an animal or it's a person. Um, there's no way I can do that. So that's why we're doing it upside down. Okay, so remember that. I took the liberty of going ahead and printing this out, the horse one. That way you can see how I do it. Um, you will most likely be looking at it on your screen in your Chromebook, so keep that in mind. So I like to, you can start either from the bottom, or the, sorry, the top, or the bottom of the image. It's kind of your preference. Now notice how the horse takes up the whole paper, right? So if you try and make it smaller on your drawing when you do it, it's actually more work if you try and shrink it because not only are you trying to get all the lines correctly um, that you see here, but you're also trying to shrink it at the same time. So I encourage you to try not to shrink it because you're just gonna make more work for yourself and draw it exactly how you see it. So I'm using a regular size piece of paper as well. If you have a paper that's half the size of a normal paper, you might run out of room, but it's okay if you run out of room. The whole point for this activity is to get you, again, used to the concept of trusting your eyes and your hand to work together. So whatever your eyes see, your hand follows. I like to start at the top and work my way down. So that's what I'm going to do um, in the demonstration, okay? All right, so let me move or make this a little bigger so you guys can see it and then move this out of the way. All right. So I'm going to start here, up here. Try not to think, oh, I'm drawing a horse or oh, I'm drawing a leg. You're just drawing lines. So be aware of that. Um, notice how far away this is, this section is from the edge of the paper. So you don't want to start it right here because then as you go down, you're not going to have room for this section that kind of extends out. So I'm going to move in a little bit over here with this space I'm doing it in pencil I suggest you also do it in pencil because I will be making mistakes and I assume that you might also be making mistakes right this is almost like a combination of the contour drawing because you can kind of make those lines that you see that I just made and then erase them later All right and I'm drawing it fairly light um, it just looks a little darker because I am pressing so that you guys can see it on the uh, camera or on the recording. Right, and so I'm just making my way, trying to follow along in any bumps I see. So like that bump here is that one there, right? And don't worry, I will clean it up in a minute. I'm trying to remain or keep that same thickness on the section and then just make my way over and then add lines that I think need to be there because I see it on the paper. And if you notice, this section gets wider, so that's why I made it wider here, All right? And now we have the, the curve going this way. Remember, try not to do the chicken scratch where the it almost looks like you're drawing little hairs. Try and be confident and have a nice, clean, confident line, all right? So all I'm doing is following. I am looking at my drawing, looking at the paper, switching back and forth, and making sure that things are where they're supposed to be. Um, the common thing that happens to people when they do this is either they make it, they make sections too big or too small. Don't be so concerned about that if you make a section too big. Um, worry more about getting it accurate and getting the lines that you see on the paper, getting them accurate as close as you can to your, uh, on your drawing. And so again, I'm just making my way along the edge. Some people will do the outline, the whole outline first of the, the image that they're doing. That's one way 
to do it. I'm not saying you have to. I prefer to do it all as I'm going and adding things. But again, everyone has a preference of how they want to go about doing their drawing. So I'll leave that up to you if you want to do it how I'm doing it or if you would rather do the general outline of the image first and then go in and do the details later. Okay. And so I'm just going again along, trying to mimic and copy the same curves and lines that I see on the uh, image in front of me. So right now, if I do this, notice how big this is compared to this image. Clearly, I need to clean that or fix that angle up so it matches more. So instead of going out this way, I'm going to go in more and then curve it down. So that now, this and this match a little bit more. Just to make sure that it's not too big, I'm going to add these lines here that you see there. And that'll kind of verify whether I made this too wide or if I need to fix it. So right now, after adding those lines, it does look like it's a little wide still. So again, I'm going to go in and so a good way to figure this out, see this area on the ear here? See how it's bigger or longer here? That means this needs to be tucked in more. So more along this edge. Notice how I didn't erase the, the line that I didn't want until after I drew the correct line. And that now looks better after I fixed it, all right? And this is how you just do the whole thing. So I have these two lines, those two, those two, and now let me add some more over here. And the way I'm doing this one is the way you do all, any one that you choose to draw. All right. And some, the ones that have, the images that have more lines on them, obviously will take longer because those more lines that are added will increase more detail, right? So keep that in mind. Okay. Again, trying to have the same uh, width, the same length, the same angle of all the lines that you're drawing. Okay. I'm not gonna draw the whole thing because I feel like you uh, you guys probably can now see how it's done and I'll stop it right here after this leg okay. and then add all the lines that I need in there okay so again there's no shading right again this is to reiterate the uh, focusing of your eyes and your hand working together. So whatever your eyes see, your hand draws. So two of these, any one of these two, right, that you're doing on a piece of paper. I would suggest doing one per page. That way you don't have to worry about the sizing and use the whole page for it. All right. Okay.